Hey, what's up you guys? Sierra here, aka Sierra the Goat. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for my One Piece theory. I don't know if it's like my personal theory, it's just one I found online that I kind of like, but my One Piece theory and chapters 105 and beyond prediction. Just a little disclaimer, this is like my personal thoughts. I could be completely wrong. I just want to put these out there because I think it's fun to talk about this kind of stuff. So starting with the chapter two weeks ago, there has been a lot of talk about the hidden figure at the end of the chapter. To me, it's like 98% chance it's Hiyori, 1% chance Lady Toki and like 1% Enel. <laughs> I in no way think that is Enel at the end of the chapter. I think it is just too random for it to be him. Like why would he be there? Why would he suddenly be on Wano and Onigashima when he has nothing to do with this battle whatsoever and suddenly helping the scabs? Anyway the safe bet I think is Hiyori because we have not seen her for quite some time now and I feel like she's going to be turning up soon in the story so why not now? But let's talk about Lady Toki. If you guys have been following my channel I did react to the Odin flashback and if you remember I had really high hopes for Lady Toki like when we got first introduced to her I was so excited I thought we were gonna learn about the void century all this stuff she had the time time fruit she jumped from the void century so I thought we were gonna learn something but sadly we did not really find out anything and she really was a letdown of a character at least to me there is the possibility that Oda just didn't want to reveal things with her yet or just reveal things about the void century in general but still I was really disappointed now onto the theory in regards to her fruit and how broken that can be. We know for a fact it has the power to jump to the future. And so assuming that all devil fruits have awakening, more than just one thing they can do, I'm assuming that the time time fruit does as well. And what I'm thinking is some hyperbolic time chamber type shit. <laughs> Where I'm going with this, for me, Luffy to become the pirate king, he needs to overcome beating Big Mom, beating Kaido, like solo. No help from anybody else. Like maybe some assistance, but ultimately he has to be the one to do it. He needs to overcome the obstacles the Emperor is on his own, not in a joint effort. And for that, he does need more training. So far, we've seen him go all out against Kaido and it really did not do anything. Like. Luffy is out of commission right now. We still haven't seen if there's a gear fifth. In the SBS it has been, I don't know if it's like revealed that there's going to be a gear fifth, but let's just say that there's a gear fifth we don't know about right now. So right now we have the supernovas, Zoro, Killer, Law, Kid, and I think that Zoro and the rest of them can hold off Kaido and Big Mom just long enough for Luffy to enter some sort of hyperbolic time chamber and train. Now you could say like, how is Luffy gonna get into a time chamber? Well, assuming that Lady Toki is the one with the scabs right now, now, I think Law can just quickly transport him to where they are. Now it might be a little bit too much like Dragon Ball Z for Oda to do this, but it's like why would he introduce the time time fruit and like literally not do nothing with it? Was it really brought into the story just to have the time skip for the scabbards? And at this moment we really don't even know where it is. But yeah, I think in terms of shonen, this theory is actually not impossible. <laughs> Cause we've seen time and time again where the main character of a shonen series gets a boost in power, even if it's temporarily. Some sort of form of quick training, a shortcut, restrictions, or another person's ability. But there it is, that's my theory. If the person in the hidden figure in the room with the scabbers is Lady Toki, I think this is a high possible solution that maybe like we're gonna see some sort of quick training some type of hyperbolic time chamber type stuff. And it could be used as a possible solution to help Luffy defeat these emperors. And if the hidden figure is Hiyori, you know, it still could be possible because maybe she has the mom's fruit, Lady Toki's fruit. We don't know where it is or who has it. Anyways, there's my video. Let me know what you guys think about this crazy theory and about chapter 1005 and beyond. What are your predictions? Write them down below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Hypebonics Rhyme Chamber.